After performing a nonlinear analysis, it's sometimes interesting uh, to prepare a plot of a force displacement response curve. For example, let's suppose we are interested in knowing the relationship between the displacement at node 3 and the load applied at node 3. This can be done using MassTan's MSA plot feature. This feature may be obtained by selecting results, MSA plot. We'll first need to define what we want to monitor. So on the horizontal axis, let's plot the vertical displacement. So we'll select curves, define X data. Then we'll select what to plot, and that will be displacement. We'll type in node 3. The degree of freedom we're going to monitor is in the Y direction, the vertical def deflection. And we'll set the scale factor to a minus one, so we plot in the positive axis. And then we'd hit apply. And the x-axis would be defined. Likewise, we'd do the y-axis. On the y-axis, we'll put curves, define y data. And on the y-axis, we'd like to monitor the applied force, again at node 3, in the vertical or y direction. And again, because it's downward, we'll multiply it by a minus 1, so we plot in the positive quadrant. And then we'd hit apply. So now we have defined what we're going to monitor on the x and y axis, and then we can generate the curve. To do this, we'll select curves, generate curve. We can provide a curve label, say first order inelastic. We could select the color, let's say green. And then we could hit apply to plot the curve. Now we probably want to clean up the axes a bit. And to do this, we'll go under axis, select X attributes, and then provide information down at the bottom. For example, we could have displacement. We can set the max to, say, 2 inches, and change the number of divisions to 4 and then we could hit apply. In a similar way, we could change what's on the y-axis. At this point, we would uh, we have a force displacement response curve that's showing us on the horizontal axis the vertical displacement and on the vertical axis the applied load. And we can see that the first hinge formed somewhere around a little over 80 kips of force, the second hinge somewhere around 90 kips of force, and finally, we have a plastic hinge forming at 101.4 kips of force. And after that plastic hinge, you can see that the stiffness goes to zero. So it started fairly steep. Plastic hinge, we lost some stiffness. Another plastic hinge, we lost some more stiffness. And then finally, the curve went flat.